necessary, whether it was bringing three, four, five, and uh, man pressure, zone pressure. So um, I feel like we did a good job. I think we just kind of had this mindset where, you know what, it's too late in the season, um, especially I think after the game last year against a and um, all the yardage, all the time in the pocket, we felt that we needed to come out and make a statement. When you say clicking with the DBs, what does that entail? Uh, working together, um, them trusting us up front and us trusting them to, uh, you know, when the quarterback holds the ball for extra second, that means the coverage is on point. And so, you know, when he does that, it's only right that we have to get home. Or vice versa, we force him to throw a bad ball and, you know, you look at pull down three interceptions. So it's huge. Breen, you've had to do at times with a lot of uh, quarterbacks who run and, and, and the spread and RPOs. They seem like a more traditional, you know, more conventional, mm -hmm. uh, you know, power, try to mm -hmm. outpower you offense. Uh, is that... Is that kind of something you're, you're glad to be playing against? Or obviously, it's a big physical challenge, but I mean, is there anything that you like about that? You know, strength against strength, that kind of thing? Yeah, it's, I think it's um, their run versus our run defense is, is where I think, you know, the, the battle's going to be won. And it's really whoever's going to uh, break first is the one that's going to, you know, lose the game and lose the battle. And I feel like, especially going into this game, knowing how well our offense scores and how fast they do and the tempo they do it at. Um, I think they're going to try to come out and slow down the game a little bit, um, try to grind out some yards, um, let that play clock run under, until under 15, under 10 some plays, and ultimately make last-minute checks. And so uh, I think it's going to be a big boy battle this week. And, uh, you know, honestly, it's just basic big boy football, to be honest. I feel like everybody, everyone on the team, every coach, is a different example of when they think Joe kind of won over the team in the locker room. When was it for you? Or did he? <laughs> um... I forgot what, what game it was when I think it was Florida, Florida week when <clears throat> this is when I felt he won the team over. I mean he Joe's won me over since he's been here. I mean for a guy to come in and work hard like that. But I think after, I think it was after that Florida game when when he Last said year? No, this this year this, okay. when he was like we need to get back to work. Yeah. Um I think he made that statement about like if we had practice on Sunday, Joe would you know, we'd Joe would make sure we'd be practicing something like that and so I think that's when he kinda won over the team in regards to the, the type of leader he was and, and the hard worker he was, he wasn't satisfied with a win like that against Florida. And so I think we just carried on that mentality for the rest of the season. What about last year in terms of, I mean, that was a tricky dynamic of a guy showing up a few months before the season and whatnot. Yeah, he came in the summer. Uh, Joe didn't say much, he still doesn't say much, but he just kind of worked hard. I mean, for a guy to come in and, and on day one and pass the conditioning test, I mean, Coach Moffitt will tell you that test isn't easy. Uh, no average Joe can come off the streets and, and just start running and passing it. but. He showed grit. He showed toughness. He was out here, I mean, working with the receivers. He took a risk, uh, knowing that he had to come compete for a spot. But you know, during the summer on Saturday mornings, he was up here with you know all the receivers, the tight ends, and they were running route, practicing concepts. <coughs> he won their respect pretty quick. You know, just for us, we just seen the leadership early. Yeah. No average Joe. No average Joe. Not at all. What was Saturday like for you and your family? Sorry if you answered that already. Mm, no, it was awesome. Uh, really emotional. Um, so glad that everybody got to come out and, and enjoy it. And some of my brothers seeing Tiger Stadium for the first time um, and the rest of the family. And so uh, to me, it was just so awesome. Really emotional.